what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video I got a video request from a guy that wants me to talk about Narcissus' parents I could have answered his question and we could have just had a conversation about this but I decided to make a video of it and he's tuning in so I'm gonna go ahead and start this video and I have touched on this topic in the past on my channel but I'm gonna do a full video on it right now and it's honestly a great topic anyways because this is a lot more common than people think and there's so many good lives ruined because of this because of these good people growing up with Narcissus' parents it can literally ruin their entire life they could have been something so different if it wasn't for this and honestly some people just don't have that mental strength and can't figure it out on their own without that type of guidance and some people there are the select few chosen people that can grow up with their parents that don't end up like that they're so smart so intelligent and they see through their own parents and literally learn by themselves and pick up good habits off other people maybe in school or other places sports it could be anything so what I've seen with people growing up with narcissist parents I've seen there's girls I've talked to in the past that have grown up maybe with even one narc parent I've seen people grow up where they got abandoned this really messes people up too it's pretty well the same thing like if somebody grows up without a mother figure in their life or if somebody grows up without a father figure in their life they grow up with a void and it really messes them up because they didn't have that growing up and that's something even myself I try to wrap my head around like how could it be that bad but I guess it is it's something I've never experienced I always grew I grew up with a mother and a father in the house when I was young right so I can't really I can't know for sure what that's like but there are a lot of people that this happens to and most of the time most of the time when this person grows up it was a narc parent that left their life most of the time it could have been the father it could have been the mother they were selfish self-centered they didn't want to be there they didn't want to raise a child they had a kid with somebody and they want to dip on this person as well and go and live their own life I know people my age I know people two three years younger than me that had a kid with somebody and dipped and it's not in the kids life and it's sad to see because you know what's gonna to happen to this kid growing up they're gonna grow up without that boy they're gonna grow up with that void I mean and it's just it's a shame because it can literally make this person do nasty things to other people because they're not in the right mindset because they grew up without that right hurt people hurt people these people grow up hurt because what they needed was not there for them they're not the same as everybody else they're the same but different you know I know people that wanted to commit suicide over this type of shit because they just didn't have that there and they felt empty they felt that emptiness they couldn't they couldn't do it on their own you know and they always needed that somebody that was there and they didn't have it and growing up without normal parents and living with narc parents both of them it's a living hell for the child and they're gonna treat other people like shit when they're growing up they're gonna treat their friends like shit 
they're going to treat the person that they're in a relationship with like shit. I've seen this happen too. I've seen old friends of mine do this. Yeah. Not friends anymore. Let's just say that. Because when you're young, you can just be friends with anybody, you know? You don't really know the difference. But... And this person's parents were hurt on each other as well. Like, they're, this person's parents that I'm talking about argued back and forth all the time, yelling and screaming. Father abusive towards the mother. Mother abusive towards the father. Both just, you know, heads banging. And this person grew up the same way. Treating other people like shit. Hurting his friends. Literally physically and mentally. Like, treating his girlfriend like shit. Like, it's just what happens. They grow up learning this. They think this is what it is. And it's sad to see. Because if they grew up differently, it wouldn't be like this. You can't... Gr if you grow up with narc parents, bro. You have to see past your own parents. You have to see past that situation. First of all, you have to see it for what it is. And you have to do whatever you gotta do in the meantime to just literally erase them from your mind. As if whatever they say is irrelevant. Because it is. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They never know what they're talking about. They're delusional. They're toxic. They want to see you fail. Straight up. They want to hold you down. They want you to be in pain for the rest of your life, just like they are. And I've even felt certain shit like this in my life. I've felt narc friends and narc other things try to sabotage me, narc exes, you know? And it hurts. It hurts real bad. Living with it would be brutal. And I felt, even in my own household, things got toxic at times. But I dealt with it good. And I did what I had to do to get myself out of that situation. You have to surround yourself with positivity 24-7. And just understand that this is not going to last forever. You're going to get out of this house. You're going to get away from these people. And you're going to be able to start your own life. You don't have to listen to them. You don't have to take their advice. You don't have to be them. You don't have to do what they want you to do. You can dip on them. If they're toxic. And they're ruining your life and your happiness. You can dip. You can do that anytime. When you get to that certain age. And you can even get out earlier if you want to work your ass off. If you want to work your ass off, you can do it. You can get out of there earlier. And honestly, your life will be better. Because there ain't nothing worse than having narc parents. And if you don't have that mental strength and intelligence, because you need both, you can be mentally strong, but if you don't have the intelligence... You could literally, they could, they could get into your head and you could literally listen to what they're saying. But if you have the mental strength and the intelligence and you're dealing with these people, you can get by them without them affecting you and your life. And you can be the good person that you know you could and should be and will be. I've even helped people, myself, personally, Get out of these situations. I've talked to people on the phone for hours about this shit and opened their mind to what they always knew was true. They just needed to hear it from one other person to clarify that, yes, this is the truth. I'm not crazy. This is how it is. This helps a lot, guys. This helps a lot from hearing it from somebody else. Because if it's just your own thoughts, and you don't hear this information from anybody else, you, you might think you're a little bit crazy. You might not know if you're 100% right. And the, and the thing that narc parents do the most 
is make you believe that they're right. They can suck you into making you believe that they are right. They want you to believe that. But it's up to you to see past that if you have that intelligence to see past that. You can outsmart them and you can get away from them. And best believe when you do that, they're going to hate you. They're going to hate you because deep down inside they wanted that but they never ever got that. They didn't know how to get it. Something fucked up in their own life. And they're going to take all their bullshit out on you. It's a very toxic situation to be in. And it's the number one thing that ruins people's lives. And makes them be the person that they never should have been. All because of their parents. But like I said, if you're intelligent enough and you have that mental strength, and you know yourself that well, you know yourself that good, no, nobody else can tell you nothing, you will get by. No doubt about it. Because those things I just named is something I have, and I did it. I feel like I grew up, I grew up period around a lot of toxic bullshit. People can tell you they want to see you do, they, people can tell you that they want to see you do good, but best believe, when you start doing good, and you start actually being yourself, and you're happy, you're going to see a change in people's eyes. You're going to see a change inside of these people. And you're going to realize everything was a lie. These people are a lie. They're fakes. They're frauds. They don't want to see you happy. Now that you are, they don't want to see it. Because deep down, they are not. And they are pretending. And it's tough to deal with. And I dealt with this shit. And it's hard. Because once upon a time, they were the ones that were actually there. But were they actually there? No. No, they weren't. It was fake. It was all fake. They were never there. They just pretended to be. And now you gotta find new people. You gotta find new people and get in with the right people. And live your life and best believe everything will happen the way it's supposed to happen you will end up being exactly where you're supposed to be. As long as you know that in your heart, it will happen. And I'm gonna cut this video off right here, guys. So, I'll be back with another one soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm out.